Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. Today we will speak about one of my favorite keywords or options within Plink and uh, well, the keyword is by chance called dash dash within. So what this keyword does and why I like it so much. When you look up the Plink website, so you see its description, which says that it lets you define some clusters of the data and also set up some stratified analysis. So this is what we will do in two examples. One will be with allele frequencies and the other one is a stratified FST analysis. A crucial sentence here is actually this one that this within keyword needs a additional file that has exactly three columns. The first one is the FID or the family ID of the data that you have. The second one is the individual ID of the data that you have. And the third one is actually the cluster names that you want to create. Basically how you create these clusters of your data basically defines how you want to set up your stratified analysis. Well, that might sound a little bit complicated, but I assure you it's not that difficult. In this first case, in this first scenario, we will try to use the within keyword to compute allele frequencies using the worldwide GOAT data. At the first step, we will load the FUN file that has already most of the information that we want. So it has the FID and the IID for all the individuals. So nothing remains just to create our clusters. In this particular case, we will compute the allele frequencies for all goats coming from Ethiopia, Italy, and Pakistan. Of course, this is just an example. So you can set up the strata as you want, not necessarily per country, but as I said, you can use any categories you want. In this particular case, we will take advantage of the fact that the individual IDs are already contained in the country code. So we just look up the first two letters of the individual ID and based on that, we create our categories. We are not interested in the other goals, so we drop all of them which don't belong these, to these countries. Select the three columns that we need for this analysis. So basically the X1 is the FID, X2 is the IID, and the country is the new country code that we created and we save everything to this country comparison snipfrequencies.txt file. So this is how this file looks like. So you see that is a very reminiscent of the FUN file. So the FID, IID and the label we have uh, created. So and if we go down, so depending on a gold breed, the label changes and of course more than one breed comes from one country. So, and to do the country-wise analysis for the allele frequencies, we can do it in all in one run, actually utilizing our file country comparison SNP frequencies uh, two times. First one, we use the keep statement. So just to get rid of all the other goats that we don't need in this analysis. So the keep statement actually wants a file that the first column is FID and the second column is IID. So this is exactly what we have. And then we do the actual magic. Normally the dash dash frec statement, so the, or the option. So the first one does the allele frequencies. But right after that, we say within and the country comparison SNP frequencies.txt. So this actually forces Ping not to do allele frequencies between each breed, but within the clusters we define. After we run everything, so we see that there is almost 1200 animals remaining that are separated in three clusters and these frequencies are saved in this uh, .frq.strat file. And this is how this .strat file looks like. So this is also a text file. It actually has all the, well, the SNPs and uh, all the SNPs three times uh, for each of our clusters. So there is one for Ethiopia, Italy, and Pakistan. This would be the first autosomal SNP. Uh, and uh, well, in this case, we are interested in a minor array frequencies. So we see that this one is fairly similar between the two uh, Ethiopian and Italy breeds. In Pakistan, actually, the alternative allele that is, is more frequent. It, this, is one, this would be the second SNP again. So we see some kind of a distribution and so on for all the other SNPs. 
So with this first example, I wanted to demonstrate the logic that is behind the dash dash within option for Plink. And this is the second example I want to show you also with the dash dash within option and how can you use it perform various analyses in this case for FST. Well, we have done already FST analysis on this channel with a very similar script to this. So I will not go through in detail for the majority of this, uh, of this script. I link the video on the top of the screen for the full description of the FST analysis, but let's concentrate on the new things. And that is the stratification, again, done in a very similar way as before. In this case, we are not interested in a country-wise separation, but for example, we want to compute the FST between certain dairy and meat breed. The logic is again very similar. In this case, we have the X1 is the family ID that is already identifying the breed. So these are the breeds that we are using, the sun and the Togenburg, the rangeland and the teddy goats. And in this case, two of them are dairy and two of them are meat breeds. Again, we are not interested in other breeds for this particular analysis. So we drop them and we select the very same FID, IID and the production type. And the production type is actually a new variable that we were kind of uh, creating here with the mutate statement. And we save this into the production comparison.txt file. This production comparison file looks very similar as before, FID, IID, and our categorization. In this case, it is dairy and meat breeds. For a proper FST, we need to do a bit of quality control. And in this quality control, we already dropping all the other breeds and keeping just the ones that we need the same way with the dash dash keep statement and the file that we just created. And again, the dash dash within statement works its magic the same way. So basically we specify dash dash FST much like before, but then right after that, we specify dash dash within and the file that we created. And we see that although there are four breeds in our data set, Plink says that we have two populations in this production type.fst output file. And to close the cycle, we can also visualize the results and find the SNPs with the highest FSTs between the dairy and meat breeds that were specified. And then we can follow up on these SNPs and the genomic regions. So I hope you like this demonstration of this very useful keyword, the dash dash within, and that you will find a lot of use for it in your research or in your studies. If you like this video, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and also hit the like button for the good measure. Also sending the link to this video or any others uh, on the Genomics Bootcamp channel to your like-minded friends and colleagues it's much, much appreciated. For today, however, I thank you for your time and wish you a very, very nice day.